Welcome to our tutorial on the search command. Let's start by activating the search command, edit, search, or shortcut control F. The search definition window opens. What we can do here, let's say I want to hide all the planes in my document. The long way to do it would be to go through the specification tree, select each plane one by one, and then hide them. The search command makes such an operation much easier. From the type drop down menu, let's select from element. Now select a plane. Plane populates the type field now. Down below, we've got two options, search and search and select. Let's choose search and select. Now you see that all planes are highlighted. Next, I can click hide show and all the planes will go to hide mode. Let's activate the search command again. Choose from element again. Select plane again. Click search and select. All planes are now selected. And let's bring them back in. We can also use different parameters. For example, if I want to find all the features that are, let's say, blue, I can use the search command for this as well. Let's go under color, select blue from the drop down menu, click search. The blue features appear in the objects found list, the pocket, and the pad. Let's close this for now. I've got a few points here. In my specification tree, they appear all over the place. Let's say I want to pick up these points. Search from element. Now select one of the points and click search. All the points appear in my objects found list. Perhaps this is too many points. Let's narrow it down a bit. From element. Now select this point. And under symbol, let's select the symbol that matches the point we just selected. Do a search. And we have a narrowed list of points in our objects found list. That's because only four points are represented by this symbol. Let's try it again. From element. Select this point. Let's filter by the same symbol, but let's add an additional filter property. We're going to choose color, black. Basically, I'm applying more filters now to narrow down my search. Click search. Only one point now appears in my objects found list. It's this point right here. It's the only point that corresponds with my three search parameters, black, this symbol, and that it's a point. As you can imagine, the larger your project, the more useful the search command is going to be to you. And this concludes our tutorial on the search command.